Long ago, over 2,000 years ago, on the sweeping plains of ancient Persia, a game was born. Not just any game, but an art. A perfect blend of horsemanship, strategy, and skill. Polo, or as they called it, Shogun, was a sport of warriors played under open skies to prepare for battle. It was here, amidst the echoes of history, that Polo's story began. The game spread far and wide, climbing the rugged terrains of the Himalayas and captivating the royalty of India. Soon, polo wasn't just a game for warriors, it became the sport of kings. It was the Maharajas of India who turned polo into something grand, a tradition intertwined with regal splendor and honor. Now, there's another history that we think is important to acknowledge because we know how history has a funny way of changing. So, the first recorded game of polo was played in 600 BC in Persia, modern-day Iran. Mounted nomads migrating from Central Asia carried the sport with them during their travels. Eventually, the game reached the northeast state of Manampur, where modern polo originated. The people of Manampur, India, have slightly other version of where polo really originated. Like many tribal legends, the earliest story of polo is also rooted in the Manipuri belief system and, fol and folklore. The local Mai Tai community of Manipur argue that Polo originated as Sagola Tainji in 14th BCE under Tanjba, uh, presumably the deity god of the ancient Nintuja dynasty. And please forgive me if I'm butchering these names, my, my most humble apology. The the name Sagol means pony and Tanjai means a game played with sticks. Apparently, the idea of Sagol Tanji came to him when he once um, playfully dribbled a ball with his walking stick. In the 1850s, when the British visited Silchar in As Azam, they saw a group of exiled Manipuris playing a peculiar sport which combined horse riding with hockey. This was the game of Sagol Kenji, an indigenous sport of the Maitis of Manipur, which the British reintroduced to the world as modern day polo. Right? So there is some argument as to where it really, really, really originated. But it's here. We've we've got it now. Um, Asia Today introduced Maharaja Kamur Padman Singh as the global ambassador for polo around the globe. And he said in a, in a statement, my family has been playing polo for generations. Looks like a really good ambassador. Welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report and I'm Antonio. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time here with us. Well, here we are in the Church Nelly Polo Lounge to commemorate Church Nelly's birthday. So Church Nelly, this is dedicated to you. Happy birthday. And thank you for everything that you do in this community. It is so very much appreciated. Now, I do have Hola, Chuchnelli. someone else who wanted to say Me happy birthday to you. Estar aquí. Ahora tengo um, el they rota. will be arriving in a couple of minutes and make some phone calls. You know, I, I know some people who Pero know some people who, who know some people who know some people who said no to happy me a million birthday. times. But, you know, Beautiful. I have my ways. I have my ways. So, <laughs> I am ridiculous. That's what I am. Um, so, Today's episode is also dedicated to Church Nelly, and um, so we're going to learn some more about polo. So when we watch the um, Netflix series produced by Archwell, 
uh, that is dropping on December the 10th, we will at least have the basics of Polar Down. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And, um, oh, he's here. Perfect. Church Nelly, happy birthday. Church Nelly, ¿dónde estás? Where are you? No puede ser que este ano me hace lo mismo. Mi amor, my love, where are you? Ella nunca viene, bueno, te quiero mucho, besos kisses y abrazos my beautiful love Church Nelly. Well Church Nelly, I don't know what, what you're doing to this guy, but he, 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 Nacho says he shows up every year. Every year he shows up where he's told you're going to be and you're never there. And he's like, his heart is broken. Uh, he loves you very much and he sends you lots of hugs and kisses. But, you know, he's disappointed, very upset that you're not here. I don't know what you're doing to this guy, <laughs> George Nelly. Oh boy. So, I guess some other time Nacho and George Nelly will get together. <sighs> now, let's carry on learning about Paula. It was the British Army officers stationed in India who couldn't resist the allure of the game. They brought it back to England, transforming polo into a sport that would capture the hearts of people all over the world. Polo, once the training grounds for warriors, now evolved, carrying with it centuries of heritage and an air of distinction. Polo's most iconic figures have always been more than just players. The Maharaja of Jaipur, Sawai Man Singh II, one of the greatest players to have ever lived, made Jaipur the very heart of Polo in India. Even Winston Churchill couldn't resist the thrill of the game riding until his 40s with a love for the challenge and grace of polo. Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, took that love even further, creating the Guards Polo Club and helping polo become a prominent feature of British high society. And today, polo still carries that spirit of camaraderie, bravery and purpose Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, has become one of Polo's most passionate advocates, using it to bring people together and raise support for causes close to his heart. His charity matches are more than games. They are celebrations of community, purpose, and impact. Then we have champions like Adolf Gambioso, a modern day king of the game whose skill is unmatched. He's revolutionized polo, not just with his techniques, but through innovation by cloning champion horses to maintain his comp com com competitive edge. And let's not forget the trailblazing women of polo. Hazel Jackson and Nina Clarkin, proven that the game isn't just for kings, but for queens as well. They are redefining the sport, inspiring a new generation of women to pick up the mullet and ride into action. Did I hear someone say, Nacho Figueras? Hmm? Church Nelly? Was that Church Nelly? I'm not sure. I, th I thought I heard someone say, Nacho Figueras. Now, Nacho Figueras is iconic. No modern story of polo could be complete without mentioning Nacho from Argentina, a global ambassador for the sport and one of its most recognizable faces. Nacho has dedicated his life to preserving Polo's legacy while making it more accessible to the world. His passion for the game matches his friendship with Prince Harry, 
a bond forged both on and off the field. Together, they have elevated Polo to a new stage, using their love for the sport to support char charitable causes and inspire others to pick up the mallet. Polo has always been more than just a sport. It's a way to bring people together for something greater. Prince Harry and Nacho have, have shown us that the beauty of the game isn't only in the in the match itself, but in 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 what it stands for, a symbol of 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 res resilience, teamwork, and giving back. As you watch Archwell's production, remember that this is more than just a game. It's a story of warriors, of kings, of families, and of purpose. It's a tradition that carries the spirit of courage, skill, and love for the horse. Polo, the timeless game that binds us all in pursuit of greatness. Be sure to tune in in December the 10th or on December the 10th for a story that takes us across centuries, across continents and into the heart of this magnificent sport. To truly appreciate the beauty of polo, one must understand the game itself. A thrilling combination of speed, strategy, and skill. Played on a field almost the size of nine football pitches, polo is a battle of wit and agility, <laughs> all on top of a, of, of a very powerful horse. Each team consists of four players, each with a specific role. Player one is the striker, focused on scoring goals. Player two supports both offense and defense, the backbone of strategy, really. Player three, the captain and playmaker, controls the, um, the flow of the game, while player four defends the goal, often stopping rivals in their track, right? So defend that, 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 that goalie. The objective is pretty simple. Score more goals than the opposing team by driving the small hard ball through um, the goalpost. But achieving this is anything but simple. The speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, players must balance the precision, right? The precision of their swing with the control of their uh, mount. It's a dance of horse and rider, where timing is everything. The match is divided into four to eight periods, known as uh, ch chakas, um, each lasting seven and a half minutes. Between chokas, players switch horses to ensure they stay fresh. A reminder that in polo, the horse is as much an athlete as the rider. The rules are designed to protect both horse and player, creating a game that is both intense and graceful. Players can only hit the ball when the mullet, um, the broad side of the mullet, is so requiring in, 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 in incredible precision. And in Moments of heated competition, write-offs, um, a shoulder-to-shoulder a, a -shoulder battle on horseback, showcase the raw athleticism and courage that defines polo. As its core, polo is not just a game. It's a tradition passed from generation to generation. It's a sport that builds trust between rider and horse. 
fosters teamwork and teaches the value of strategy and skill. Whether played by kings, champions, or first time riders, Polo offers an experience like no other. Now you know I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything here, right? So let's 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 talk about some of the challenges, uh, perhaps controversies that comes with Polo. And for all its beauty and heritage, Polo hasn't escaped controversy. Known as the sport for kings, it has long been associated with wealth, privilege, and exclusivity. A symbol of privilege that often feels out of reach for the everyday person. From the price of maintaining horses to the cost of joining elite clubs, polo financial barriers can seem insurmountable to many. This exclusivity has earned the sport its reputation as a pastime for rich people leaving many to question the future in a world that's striving for um, in inclusivity. Yet efforts are being made to challenge this perception. Programs around the world are working to open the sport to a broader audience, from grassroots initiatives in Argentina to scholarships in the United States and um, the United Kingdom. Polo is slowly shaking off that exclusive image, um, proving that the, 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 the love for the game transcends wealth. Polo is governed by, by the International Polo Fed, uh, Federation, or FIP, which oversees the sport globally, ensuring standardization of rules and promoting its development. While um, FIP has made strides in expanding Polo's reach, criticism persists regarding its ability to enforce um, accessibility and diversity across the sport's many layers. Ethical concerns also loom over Polo, particularly regarding the welfare of the horses, Often considered the true athletes of the sport, critics question whether the high pressure environment of competitive uh, polo um, compromises the well being of these majestic animals. Modern players and clubs have taken steps to address these concerns, from enforcing rest periods to enhancing um, veterinar veterinarians. Um, care. Beyond controversy, polo is evolving. Women are becoming prominent figures in the game, challenging its male-dominated history. Uh, charity matches like those led by Prince Harry and Nacho are proving that the sport can be a force of good, raising millions for global causes. And with with the rise of eco-consciousness, Polo is beginning to explore ways to reduce its environmental footprint. Now, while Polo remains a symbol of tradition and privilege and prestige, it also holds the potential to be much more and to be a more inclusive and ethical sport that bridges divides, champions diversity, and reminds us of the timeless bond between human and horse. And so the sport keeps evolving and um, being more inclusive and with programs in order to bring down the cost or for people who may not be able to afford um, to gain scholarships and so on to the sport. The other thing too is that um, the number one place now for polo is Argentina. 
They have the most amount of clubs. They have um, the best um, horses that are com um, that 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 play the sport, and um, their kids love it and 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 start riding at a very early age. So, they right now that is that is where polo is actually really really happening. Well, I hope with with this you've gotten a little bit of the history of polo you have a little bit more understanding of it and um when december 10th comes around we will we'll, we will be in the know right <laughs> now um i i i, I don't know are, are people going, going to dress up are you gonna like wear something nice very very as as if we were going to a, a polo match i know uh, vs speaks royally is going to be having a um after after watch so for those of you who are subscribed um, be look 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 out for that and I hope to see to see you there and for those who have not subscribed yet to VS speaker um, royally please do um, she does an extraordinary job and um, she just knows how how to bring it also I mean the people in this space are absolutely amazing and if you haven't please uh, subscribe to her channel. She's fantastic. All right, that's it for now. Um, for anyone of you who haven't seen yet the message that the Duke and Duchess um, through the Archwell Foundation set out today, you can catch it here on this channel. So just um, look in the um, videos. I'm telling you, I started and I started crying. I'm like, why am I crying? But then again, that is just me. Uh, it was just very emotional to see, you know, the stuff that they 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 they're actually doing and all the noise that happens um, around them is just so sad. But um, yes, let's let's keep on supporting good. Keep on supporting these two magnificent people that all they want to do really is 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 to. It's to do good. Do good. Show up and do good. All right. Love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Be kind to yourself. And be kind to your loved ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be kind to that stranger also. Bye for now. Mm -hmm. I was alone in the dark. I couldn't let a spark. I had a broken heart. Promise me you'll never leave You take my hand I can do anything I can be anything I wanna go to the sky I wanna see through your eyes Hey, I, I'm not believing the lies I'm not believing the lies I wanna go to the sky I wanna see through your eyes Hey, I, I'm not believing the lies I'm not believing the lies, yeah I wanna go to the sky, I wanna see through your eyes